Hey guys, Jason from Enliven Nutrition back again, and this is very much a special request for Matt out there. So shout out to Matt. How to meal prep. Now you guys are going to get very much an insight into how I work as a dietitian. You may not know that my wife is also a dietitian. So this is absolutely gold, guys. How we prepare our meals that's cost effective, that's fast, and it's also healthy. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through how we do this. It does involve getting all of this stuff out on the bench being ready. So what do we have here in front of us? We've got some red onions, we've got some carrots, Lebanese cucumbers. We've also got some standard tomatoes here, red capsicums. We've also got some semi-dried tomatoes. Now we do a lot of our shopping at Aldi personally. It saves a lot of money. Um, I eat a lot, my wife will tell you that, but these are the brands in terms of uh, the sun-dried deli tomatoes as well. And we've also got some beetroot. Now you can go down the road of getting your own fresh beetroot and grating it, but looking at speed, if you get something in terms of a tin beetroot, be very, very careful that it comes from an Australian source. So something like this from Aldi, the new season, does come from an Australian source. They don't add anything in terms of a high fructose corn syrup into it to sweeten it, okay? So if you give that a bit of a rinse, just with a little bit of sugar on there, that is absolutely fine for the beetroot content, guys. So what we're going to be doing today, in under 30 minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can prepare all of this and have a fantastic base salads. Now this is gonna suit both my wife and I for half the week, okay? So I've got seven containers here, Plus I'm also going to do a base for a salad tonight. Now remember this is a base. You can change your dressings and change your proteins. You can put your different meats with it. You can cook up some sweet potato, some pumpkin. You could even put some quinoa, maybe some black rice, some legumes, beans through it. The potential for this is absolutely unlimited. But if you've got a good 80 to 90% of this base sorted already, you can take it anywhere you like guys. And you're gonna have a good option to take with you for work. So. Let's get started guys, let's get your containers out. Now really, it's one of our jobs to get some more containers. We're a little bit light on, but saying that, this allows us to keep it fresh, okay? This is gonna last us for half the week, each taking one of these salads for lunch each day. So, first and foremost, our lettuce. Of choice, we like to use something like a baby spinach or a mixed salad leaf blend. And it's really going to be distributing this throughout all of these. So if anyone's got a stopwatch or a timer, you're going to start me now. Okay, so it really is just making sure you're getting probably a good quarter of these containers full of each of these salad leaves. And it's something as well, don't be concerned if it's getting a little bit full because really it's going to compress down. And there's nothing worse. And when we originally started doing this, um, I'll admit, and my wife will admit, I was an absolute shocker at it. I didn't compress it down, so what we had when we were having lunch, we didn't have much volume in there. So um, sufficient to say, we both came home hungry that day and uh, not in the best of moods. So it's a little hack for you guys to be able to do, is to actually get halfway through. As you can tell, salad items being raw, unlike cooked, it's going to fluff up a lot more. So what we really want to do is to be able to compress that down so that you can really understand and feel that you've had something significant for lunch. Now, anyone that's worked with us at Enliven Nutrition know that we're very heavy on the educational component of what we provide. So part of that is knowing what foods are very, very heavy in terms of their either calorie or petrol content for your body to power you along and what is light. And now the lighter foods are stuff that you can actually eat a lot of and it doesn't contribute to a heavy calorie amount. Where this comes into its own, it gives you a bit more freedom, okay? We want you eating more of the right stuff. And if anyone doesn't like salad, I guarantee you we'll do another episode on how to make some fantastic healthy dressings to put on this. And even the fussy stevita that doesn't like salads, you're gonna love it. So the best investment you can buy is a knife. We've got a chopping video that we've put out not long back on how to cut things quickly, save your food prep time and save your fingers, okay? But quick rehab, I want you to really set that guard, okay? And let's get started. Onions, always the first ones to come through. Now, I don't know if anyone suffers with the old crying of the onion uh, setback, but I generally do. So you may see some tears in this, guys. So as I said, 
tap chopping or rock chopping in our previous video was the easiest way to go. These ones here adjust the height where I can actually do that rock chop, okay, and get a nice thin product at the end of it. All of these flavors are something that work very well together. And it's really the thing with your food prep that you want to set the time aside. And guys, I'm really saying that you two can have this good base to your intake. And you're looking at half an hour that you can spend on your weekend doing it. And you know that you've got one out of your three main meals for the day is actually a really good choice for you. To be able to do that, looking at breakfast can be something in a healthy option and it can be a good option as well. It doesn't have to be something that's a lot of labor to make. And dinner, if you're preparing this, as you can tell, we've got that extra salad there, we're actually getting something in for dinner too. So it really is a multi-purpose thing for everyone to be able to prepare their meals and that's going to save you throughout the whole week. If anyone's ever seen the, uh, the Jamie Oliver meals, in terms of the 15 minute meals, I always wondered at the end of that who actually cleaned up. He had about 45 pans sitting there and it just was an absolute mess. So you can keep this in a pretty good place in terms of mess as well. If you start in a good position and make sure that you've got everything sitting in front of you and then it's really the chopping and the grating side. So the next thing, this is something that's great in terms of cost reduction. Carrots are always cheap. If you grate them, they're gonna give a lot more volume to it and it gives a great flavor and a different texture to what you would if you were slicing your carrots. So if you're finding you're getting to the point and it's very, very seasonal with the salad items, sometimes the lettuce can be quite expensive. Sometimes the cucumbers can be quite expensive. What we've found at the moment is we're going through a time when tomatoes and capsicums, which is staples in what we usually do, they're quite expensive. So we stick to something like a carrot, which is always going to be one, potentially two, maybe three dollars a kilo. So you can tell just from one carrot that it is a good amount of volume. And when we're distributing it through the salads, it really does go a long way. And this is how to bulk it out. So what you'll notice here today, because things have been seasonal, and we notice that cucumbers are a little bit cheaper, carrots are a little bit cheaper, we've got a predominance of those in our salad. And you know, that's okay. It's all about a cost thing. One of the biggest things that people would ever say to me is that eating healthy costs more. We've seen a lot of evidence to suggest that, and it does. The way to get around it is being smart with your ingredients, okay? It's making sure that you've got seasonal ingredients, and when you do, you buy in bulk. So we try to only shop once to twice a week, and you know, that's a time-saving thing. I do run into a lot of clients that are going to the shops every single day, and a lot of it's because they're not quite sure what to cook. So this is one way to do it in terms of having a salad base. You can also do this with vegetables, okay? You can bulk cook your vegetables and have a base of roasted vegetables there. And you can literally take that meal anywhere in the world with different herbs, spices, and different proteins as well, how you're cooking that. And you've got the majority of your meal actually done. So really, it is a time-saving thing. And this is the only way that we get around it. Both my wife and I are extremely busy people, so that message resonates with so many of our clients that we actually speak to. To be able to do this, you know that you're still getting your nutrition in, and we don't have to worry about it. So what I'll talk to you a little bit later is what we actually add to our salads. So that can be anything from a ricotta or a cottage cheese. Both a great way to add a good protein source in there, and that's what we want to keep our satiety going long term. So these are great for a volume filler for your salad. They're not heavy in calories. If you add that cottage cheese element to it, it's a nice, slow-acting protein or a ricotta cheese. 
Traditionally, we either do some boiled eggs, we can cook up some chicken. You can have some leftovers from some of the meat that you've prepared earlier. And it's a great way. So what we're gonna find is, after I've done this, my wife is gonna be so happy that I've done all of the food prep for this week. So, I'll be in the good books. So guys out there, there's no excuse for you not to be able to do this, okay? We've started off with something quite simple in a cutting technique, then we've graded. Now, cucumbers, here's a great little hack for you. If anyone gets a cucumber and it can be a little bit old or the older it gets, the center part in terms of the seeds. So let's just have a look at that. Let's just cut around to that center portion of the cucumber. This part here goes bitter, the longer the cucumber is around. So in your salads, remove it. Don't chuck it away though. You can have that in your salad tonight and it can bulk out that salad. So literally just put that aside for later. And let's just do that for all of these cucumbers. Make sure we'll take the ends off and go around the sides. So what you're ensuring at the end of the week is that you're not actually getting a mouthful of bit of cucumber because it really does turn to something quite sour and it's just not that pleasant. So it's one way to be able to prepare your food in advance, know what could happen to your food over time and it's a preventative measure. So the other bonus of this, is you've actually got this in a fantastic size to be able to do with that rock chop. And you can be quick about it, guys. This is where you've got that finger guard there. There's no risk to your fingers. You're gradually moving them back. You're getting a nice fine chop there, which is actually gonna make this go a lot longer and a lot further within your salad so you don't have to use as much. Like anything, guys, it takes practice. But as you can tell, you can see the volume that I'm building up here now. So I remember a couple of weeks back, it was the same thing where we had capsicums were quite cheap. We just had more capsicums in the salad, okay? We had less cucumbers. So again, just work to that seasonal base. And really, the more you do this, the more you get your chopping skills up. So usually, both my wife and I are doing this at the same time. We can knock this over in 15 minutes. I really, really doubt that there's many people out there that would not be able to spend 15 minutes of their weekend. Now you can be busy, you can have your own business, you can have kids, whatever it may be. And this is a great strategy for them as well to be able to make sure that they can take something to school with them and have a good option, okay? I'm very certain that we can all find 15 minutes within our day. And if you don't get the chance to see your wife very much, such as myself, that's a great bonding experience. Nothing like cutting up a, a bunch of veggies. So the way that we usually structure it is, I'm generally on this side of the board doing the chopping. And Talisha is my wife. She generally does all the grating and she does some slicing on the side for me and a hell of a lot of the prep. So that literally here I am just cutting away and that's the way to do it. So let's talk about some of the ways that you can actually dress these up in a good way without adding a hell of a lot of a calorie content. Most dressings are made with a three to one ratio of an oil to either a vinegar or a citrus acid. So that could either be lemon or lime. And if you're mixing it up, it'll be three teaspoons of an extra virgin olive oil and one teaspoon of that vinegar or lemon and lime acid. Vinegars can be apple cider, it can be balsamic, depending on your preference. You can even use your red wine. Can't say the white wine works that well um, in this scenario, but always worth a try. And it depends on what you're gonna have with it. 
you can make up some fantastic sauces with your vinegars. So using a minimal amount of those, using that three to one ratio is a great way to add some extra flavor. But as I said, keep it simple for your base. And what we also do, and it's something we'll show you on another video, we do some bulk cooking in terms of a couple of pumpkins maybe, and some sweet potato. We cook that up with some spices and we have that sitting in the fridge. It's something that we're not limited into what we're having each day. So yes, we've got our salad base, but what we will get is a good choice on adding to that salad base. And we can have that roasted pumpkin, roasted sweet potato. And if you're cooking something for dinner, it might be a lean steak, lean fillet of pork, lean chicken, adding that to it, I guarantee you'll never get bored, okay? It really is looking at how you can get most of this prep work done. You're gonna cook something at night more often than not anyway. So cook a bit extra, okay? And I want you only to have to cook a couple of times a week. So the next question is someone's gonna ask is, how do these really last? We do it in two batches, because what we find is you're probably gonna get a maximum of four days out of your salad before we start to get a little bit of that soggy vibe going through it, which is completely normal. It's just because all of these components have such a high water content. So we will do this twice a week, just so that we've got a nice fresh salad that we can have. And what we do, we do exactly what I'm doing right now. The day that we actually do the salads again, we prep a large salad for dinner. So in essence, we're not really doing that much more work at that point in time. We're all going to ha already gonna to have to cook for dinner and we're just giving ourselves a nice fresh option at that point in time. All right, guys. So that is quite a lot of cucumber. And if you want some extra activity for the day, I'll tell you what, I've just got it. So let's move on to tomato. Generally, I find slicing it in half is the best way. And then half again, nice flat surface to cut with. I've got a smaller knife to do a bit of a finer job. And then I'm just slicing it finely. Now, tomatoes are quite expensive at the moment, just because of the time of the season. So we're gonna have to make these go a little bit further, which we've done by incorporating more of the cucumber into it, which is okay. I'm one of those people that when I'm preparing food, I'm generally like, well, there's some for me. There's some for the actual meal. So what we find is I, uh, our raw ingredient cost goes up. So that's one of my, I say bad habits, is snacking. And I'm sure that most of you guys can relate to doing that. I know a lot of people that probably have a glass of red wine while they're cooking their dinner. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, if you're going to snack on something, these are so low in calorie, it's a pretty good option to be able to get away with. All right. Another option you can do with these guys, if you want a bit of extra flavor, but it very much is a price point. You can get your baby Roma tomatoes and your cherry tomatoes. Being a smaller tomato, those things have such a higher concentration of flavor within them, okay? They'll really make your salads lift and pop with flavor. So there's a good option as well. Um, but what we're shooting for here is really to keep this price point down in terms of salads. Okay, and make sure we've got a nice even distribution there. All right, now capsicum time. Just literally to make it easy chopping, let's just go down the side of each of these capsicum. Making sure we get all of it. And what you've been noticing guys, I haven't been chucking anything away. I've got a bowl here, which this is fantastic for compost. And if you've got any sort of a garden going, you can actually get the seeds off this capsicum, throw them in your garden. And you never know, you might even have your own crop pop up. 
I, uh, I remember I used that analogy back when I was living at home and we used to live on an acreage and what happened was, this was actually with pumpkin preparation and I chucked all the seeds out into the backyard and I didn't think about it really at all. It was just more, oh, this is compost. We had the largest pumpkin vine that you would ever believe. And I was actually driving around giving people pumpkins at the end of that, it was insane. So guys, rock chop again, yeah? Easiest way to get through this. Capsicums again are being expensive, so we really wanna make them go a little bit further. So as you can imagine, if you have the time to be able to put into your own garden and you've got the room to have a garden, I mean, you will amplify the flavor so much in your salad base. There's only a certain level that you will get from buying these from a supermarket. Go to your local markets, guys. Check out the fresh produce. It's literally going just to amplify everything and give you a much better experience. And unfortunately these days, the way that supermarkets have gone, you can be looking up to three to six months of a storage time from when your fruit or vegetable has actually been picked to when you're actually getting it. Now, you do get a nutrient loss in that. You certainly get a textural difference and you will get a flavor difference. So, if you're a little bit of a foodie like I am, that would be nice to be able to have that sort of a luxury if you can afford it. But uh, if anyone out there is uh, into lifting, one of my passions is Olympic lifting, so, it's one of those things that really stimulates your appetite <laughs> to the point where you eat a hell of a lot of food. Guys, semi-dried tomato, packed full of flavor. These ones here are actually in an oil base. What I've done, I've just patted them dry with some paper towel to remove most of that oil off there. You can actually get them without the oil. Um, is a little bit more flavor. Just remember, the more oil you have, the higher the calorie content's going to be. And again, nice and thin. This is exactly the same as what you would have with the chili. Set your guard up, tip of the knife blade on the um, chopping board and rock forward, back, forward, back. And you can get that speed up and you've got a really nicely, finely shredded piece of semi-dried. Because they are so concentrated in flavor, you can really get away with getting these really, really fine. You could even get some uh, Kalamata olives if you wanted to, if you wanted to make a little bit of an Italian theme. Um, you could take it down that road, maybe with some Italian spices. You could just get some dried spice mix and sprinkle on top of your salad. All of these ways that you can keep changing the base of your salad and take it to any part of the globe without impacting that calorie content, but you're adding Loads and loads of flavor, okay? Absolute buckets of flavor. There we go, guys. Last up, tin beetroot. As I said, make sure it doesn't have any of the high fructose corn syrup within it, all right? I've actually rinsed this because the preservation method of tinned uh, beetroot, generally you've got a salt and sugar component. So give it a rinse before you actually use it and you're gonna wash a lot of that off. And again, it's not the cheapest thing at this point in time. So I want you to run your knife finely through it. Use that rock chopping method. So you've got nice thin strips of your beetroot going through and it's gonna make it last longer. That's the contents of just a medium sized tin of beetroot. And we're gonna get a sprinkle across seven lunches and one salad that's going to really be able to feed up to four people if you actually had some sort of an accompaniment with it, depending on whether you wanted to do some chicken, fish, steak, whatever it might be you've got that latitude to be able to do. And having the beetroot actually in the sliced form rather than the baby beetroots is a little bit cheaper, but it's also quicker for you to be able to prepare and slice up. So the main thing I want you guys to focus on with this 
is although we've filled these salads up, I wanna leave a little bit on top because again, I'm either gonna have that roasted pumpkin that I've done in a bulk preparation again that'll last us the week. I'm gonna add that to the salad as well. So I've got some room. And traditionally what we do is we add some reduced fat ricotta cheese. And that's how to do it guys. It really is the base of a salad that you can take anywhere and it's prepared. Guys, that's meal prep. That's fast, that's under 30 minutes. That's great options. You can do this twice a week and know that one out of your main meals of the day has around about 80, 90% of it done. Whenever you're cooking at dinner, grab some of that lean protein sauce, add with it. You can even go to your supermarket, buy a barbecue chook, chuck some barbecue chook on top of it, guys. Now we can do something like this as well with your roast veggies, that's a whole nother video, but it's the same premise again, bulk cooking, guys. So. Get your nutrition right, think of food as fuel, and if food as fuel is something that you're interested in learning more about, how you can actually prepare your food, have a look at what we've got coming up. We've got a fantastic new program, which is gonna teach you what your nutrition requirements are worth. It'll teach you the value of what food is, but it'll also give you an idea of how you can plan your nutrition so you spend less time in the kitchen and it saves you money. And then you can also enjoy the foods that you love more often and not worry about going back to the point where you're worrying about losing weight or impacting your performance, guys. That's it for today and Hope to see you soon.